Good morning, good morning. Um, this is Jacqueline Richardson. It's JJ Diamond. Um, Deja, Jackie, whatever y'all call me. Um, I'm, I have to go live this morning. I had some network errors, but I'm going live this morning. Um, so just give me a minute, a second. I shouldn't even hit the button. Um, but I was already late, so I'm um, going through my network errors. And I'm doing live from Instagram. Good morning, good morning. This is, um, I have to reintroduce myself because uh, I'm already on live on my podcast. So I'm going to reintroduce myself um, and let y'all know who y'all talking with. This is Jacqueline Richardson, Miss JJ Diamond, uh, Jackie, Deja, whatever y'all call me. Um, today um, I had some network errors. So I decided just in case um, the network shuts down. Uh, this podcast to be live as well is on stream, and y'all know I'm on all major platform, all major uh, streaming platforms with podcasts. That's Apple, Google, um, iHeart. Uh, it's a, it's a bunch of them. Y'all can see it on my page. I just can't remember all of them. Podcast Attic, um, Spreaker. Um, it's so many of them. So y'all. There's no way possible y'all can miss this podcast. Y'all can get the information that y'all need to get. Today we're going to talk about eating healthy and um, fitness. People think that they can diet and become fit. (laughs) It don't work that way. Um, Being fit is a lifestyle. Okay, Eating healthy is a lifestyle. You don't just eat healthy for... Uh, six months and decide, okay, now I'm going to, uh, you know what, I, I want to stop because I got to get used to this, um, this me being alive on here. I didn't even say good morning. I, I'm so sorry. I didn't say good morning. Um, my weather today is cloudy out here. Um, now y'all can actually see it versus me telling y'all about it. See, it's cloudy here in Charlotte, North Carolina today. I'm thankful for being woke. Um, I always have to thank God, you know. So now we'll get back into the podcast. I forgot some things, y'all. I got to get used to this, so y'all bear with me, okay? (laughs) Uh, This um, live thing. Um, But um, these are the things that I say on my podcast every morning. It's just that I'm not live, so... Uh, now I have to remember to just start from the beginning and say everything I normally say um, to introduce who I am and what I'm about to talk about and, and giving my, my uh, listeners uh, some type of, I say, understanding of where I'm located, uh, what the weather is, you know, what day it is. Uh, and today is Wednesday, um, which, which they call hump day. This is the day that we were waiting to get to Friday, Okay. <laughs> But for me, I work seven days a week, so it doesn't matter what day it is. You know, I'm not struggling for Friday. I'm just struggling just to, to get to the next day. But getting back to um, fitness and eating healthy. We have to get out of our minds, okay? And this, this is with, when you do these things, you have to do it with your whole family, okay? And sometimes it's hard because sometimes it be a two-parent household and... One may eat one thing and then the other don't want to eat it, you know. Uh, so this is why the family has to be in sync of what their their lifestyle is going to be. Excuse me. Now, in my household, 
um, I pretty much control, you know, um, the, the food buying, the cooking, you know, so my mate has no other choice but to eat some of the things that I eat. He don't eat all of it, but he has no other choice but to eat some of it because I cook the food, I season the food, and I season my food with a lot of herbs um, and spices, you know, um, and these are the things that I do on a regular basis. It's not just for six months. It's every day. You know, um, certain um, herbs I have to have and I put in my food. Um, I had a lifestyle change about, I would say maybe 25 years ago, okay? And I, if you had listened to my podcast yesterday, I had talking about, talked about nutrition, okay? Um, being that I had a bad stomach... Um, I was put on a special diet uh, for nutrition, and that's what helped me. But the diet that they had me on was, wasn't was fit for me, okay? And this is why I'm making this podcast, because every diet that someone puts you on is not always fit for your body. Everybody's body is different. That's what makes us so unique, okay? Um, Sometimes your family members may have the same blood and their bodies may accept certain things like yours or may not accept certain things like yours. So this is when you have to revamp some things at home. You know, like I'm, I'm going to use my grandson for instance. He's allergic to strawberries just like I am. And that's my grandson. But my daughter's not. She eats strawberries. Both of my, all my kids eat strawberries but him. So he got that trait from me. Okay. He can't have any strawberries. Um, he does eat berries though. Okay. Um, I eat berries as well. I eat, um, blueberries and I eat bananas, but it has to be mixed, uh, like in a smoothie, you know, um, in order for me to digest it. And it's still hard for me to digest it. Um, and I do feel the, the feeling when the blueberries go in my body, I can feel, um, a a little, a little agitated. Okay. So everything that you eat, you have to watch on how it makes your body feel. And that's real important, um, especially when you're doing a lifestyle change. Uh, We're going to do away with the diet. The Weight Watchers, um, they have these little boxes they send to you every, every week or whatever the case may be. That stuff is costly. And there's no need to do it if you can't do it forever. Okay? So, this is where the lifestyle change come in. When you go to the market, you start reading the back of your stuff. You take the time out when it comes to your health, okay? That's just what it is. You know, if it takes you two hours to shop to make sure um, these foods are fit for you, okay? Now, some people may have high blood pressure, so they can't have high sodium. So, you got to look for food with uh, low sodium. Some people may have... um, um, may need calcium. So you look with foods that's high in calcium. Uh, some people can't have too much cholesterol. So you look for foods with not too much cholesterol. Now, there's a lot of different types of cholesterol, people, okay? Now, this is what I suggest, me, personally, and this is what I do, okay? You go to the doctor, you get your physical, okay? When you get your physical, they're going to draw blood, okay? When they draw blood, this is how they tell what is going on in your body, Okay, they're going to take all these lipid tests, cholesterol tests, um, iron tests, all these tests they're going to take. And this is how they know where your levels are. And this is uh, one thing that I love about Charlotte. And shout out to Charlotte on this one. Um, When you go to the doctor here, they send you your lab results in the mail. Okay, they make sure you get it so you can work on what's going on with you. Okay, now. It'll show um, if something is too high or if you're in the middle or if it's too low. And then if you don't understand what those letters mean or um, abbreviations, ask your doctor. Don't hesitate to ask your doctor, okay? Um, When the doctor call you up and say, hey, I see that you're high on this and I'm high on that, I want to prescribe you a pill. Ask the doctor, can you, try, can you try and do it the natural way first and let them retake your test? Unless 
you are like really, really, really high where it can be harmful to you, meaning you can possibly die, then hey, yeah, you go get that pill. But if it's not so high where it's de de detrimental to you, you try to do it naturally, okay? The best way is to do it naturally so your body can get used to um, it every day, okay? Because this is what your lifestyle change, okay? So you know that you got to stop eating steak or too much butter, you know, even though some fats are good fats, you know. Um, matter of fact, avocado, even though it's a fruit, it's a very good fat for us. Okay, so we can eat avocados, you know, you don't want to overdo, you don't want to overdo eating anything too much, okay, but you can eat it once a day and it's not going to hurt you, okay, because it's a good fat. And that's what we have to look for, the stuff that has good fat. Salmon is another thing, loaded with, loaded with uh, vitamins, however, it's also a good fat. Okay, so there's a lot of things out here that that's good for you, and you probably don't even know it. You eat it on a sparingly, you know, oh, yeah, I like that, so I'm going to eat that today. When these are some things that you should be eating at least three times a week, okay? Take away the beef, okay? The beef has to go. If you're eating beef, it has to go, you know? Once every month, you know, just gradually go down, you know? Once a month. Once every six months. But we do need the protein. Okay? And beef is the highest in protein. So, with that being said, you got to get your protein. Now, either you're going to set your diet to where you are getting enough protein every single day from other things. You know, because we have a lot of things that give us high protein. Beans. That's one of the things that give us very, very high protein. Um, you can have that in your diet daily. You know, to where it builds up, like if you ate a piece of beef. But if you're the type that throw a big slab of beef on your on your plate, and you go to the restaurant or you cook it at home, and think that you are being healthy, no, you actually killing yourself little by little. It's called suicide. Okay. Um, sugar. We want to talk about sugar. Sugar is something that we should stay away from. However, we need some sugar in our body in order in order for us to have energy, okay? Because our body burns, okay? Especially when you have a high metabolism. Your body burns um, the sugar, okay? Now, if you, if you are already slim and fit and you eat healthy and you don't get no sugar in your body... What do your body have to burn off of? It's going to continue to burn off your body. Okay? Which eventually will make you sick. Okay? So you, you got to follow where I'm going. So you, you got to have some sugar. Most people get it from the fruit. But fruit is, is higher in sugar than if you ate a cake. Okay? If you put all the berries and bananas and all those different things inside of a cup. It's excellent for you because it has the vitamins that you need, but it's very, very high in, in um, sugar. And it's natural sugar, so you can't have too much of it, okay? This is the thing where you, you have to learn to balance it. So you have to learn your grams of, of sugar that's in each and every item. And this is why I say, when you take time out, and this is for you, your health, investing in you. Okay, I did this about, like I said, 30 years ago. However, and I'm still doing it. Every, you know, when I go to the market, if I see something new, I got to stand there and read it and see what's in it. Okay, how much sugar grams, how much salt grams, you know, um, if it has any vitamins in it. These are the things that you have to do. Excuse me, y'all, my allergies. I took my medicine, but the weather is bad, so it's, it's starting to mess with my eyes and my nose. So y'all bear with me. Um, I shouldn't even be outside, but, you know, I love the outside. This is, you know, this is me. Um, you have to take that time out and invest in you, you know, invest in what you want your body to be. Okay. So when you go take them blood tests, it'll come back where it's supposed to be, you know, um, 
I went to the doctor, uh, this not, not recently, uh, last year, and they took my blood test, my blood work, and they sent it to me. I was low in protein, and I already knew that because I, I very rarely eat meat. You know, um, I eat a lot of fish, um, I eat chicken, and I eat turkey, and I eat it sparingly. And when you are looking at the four food groups, okay, it's certain foods that we have to have. You know, for me, if I take bread out of my diet, because bread is a carbohydrate, but we need it. We need something to burn off. If we don't have nothing in our body to burn off, it's going to burn off of your body. And then eventually you're going to get sick. So this is where we have the, the, the food um, the food chain. The, 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 um, I forgot what they call it. It's crazy how I forgot because I was just in school and we was learning, relearning about this stuff all over again. And I forgot. But it's, 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 um, you're supposed to have a bread, a small portion of meat. The meat size is supposed to be no bigger than your fist. Okay, that's how much meat um, we're supposed to have. Okay, um, vegetables. You got to have some vegetables. Okay, and of course a drink, whether it's milk, water, you know, leave the sodas out. You know, if you have a soda, have it once a day. You know, the most twice a day and make sure it's limited. Like I drink Red Bull and that's a sugary drink and it actually has... Um, 27 grams of sugar, which is actually not a lot, okay? That is a, a little bit of sugar. Now, if you look at a soda, okay, let me see. I think I got one soda in here. It might be finished. But I'll show y'all the things that I do drink um, and the sugar intake. Okay. Now we have, I don't know if I showed y'all the Red Bull. Hold on. Here is the Red Bull. Okay. We have 105 milligrams of sodium, which you need sodium. Okay. You don't need a lot of sodium, but your body does need it. You notice if you get dehydrated, people... Uh, when you go to the hospital, that's what they give you, uh, a bag of sodium, <laughs> okay? So you got to pay attention to these things. Um, two, 29 grams of, of total carbohydrates. Total sugar is 27 grams, okay? And acid sugars is 54, 54 grams. Okay, so these are the things that, and what is this over here? Includes 27 grams. Oh, okay. The added sugar is included with the 27 grams. So they put the 54 is included with this one up here. So they actually broke it down for us here. Okay. Now I'm going to go down here. Okay. To the calcium. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm trying to focus it, y'all. We got 33 grams of calcium. Nice and 100% vitamin B. Okay, now vitamin B, we need that every single day of our lives, okay? Uh, we also need the calcium. Vitamin B12, we need that every single day of our lives. If we don't get those things, our body will not perform properly, okay? Um, and this acid over here, I got to do some research on that acid, y'all. I haven't uh, done any research on that acid yet. But... The biggest thing and the reason why I drink um, Red Bull is for this. Taurine. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see it. Taurine is needed, especially for people that work. Okay. They sell taurine in uh, our uh, GNCs and places like that. Um, you can go and get vitamins and get your taurine. Taurine it's to help the mind stay focused. You know, as you, we, we are busy people. We do, we overdo ourselves every single day. Okay. Um, so our mind is always racing. And this is why we forget. And this is why we're doing things that we wouldn't normally do. Like 
you know, some people t- uh, say, well, you know, I put my, my, well, I did it. I put my, my, um, wallet, I mean, my keys in the, in the freezer with my ice cream. Okay. And one of my friends, she made a mistake and put her wallet in the, in the refrigerator. And then you start looking for it and you say, well, where's it at? And that means your brain is starting to slow down and you do, you're doing too much and, and you're putting too much pressure on it. And the taurine helps us. Okay. Um, it helps us stay focused. Okay. And that's the main thing. Uh, when drinking energy drinks, you know, um, some people say that Red Bull makes them jitter. I don't have that problem. Okay. Um, but I have to have it because I need it for the taurine. I don't like taking pills. So I try to get all my vitamins from anything that I put in my body. If it doesn't have vitamins I need, I'm not putting it in my body. Okay. Now we're going to look at the uh, Gatorade. Okay. Now, and then I'm, we're going to go back to uh, why we need some sodium. This is why when you overdo with all that salt, when you're cooking and eating food, and then you drink a drink that's high in sodium, then your blood pressure go up, you start swelling, and you wonder why. Okay? And the reason being is because you have, you've had too much sodium. Okay? Because our body, it has to be balanced. Okay? You can't have but so much sodium. So what I do is, being that I know sodium is in certain things that I drink, especially if, in order for me to hydrate, okay, I have to have it. Because the sodium is what helps you hydrate. So, I don't put salt in my food. So, when I do hydrate, it doesn't bring my sodium level so high that my blood pressure is rising. Okay? So, now I'm going to look at the, the, the Gatorade. Now, oh, and I forgot to show you how the calories on the Red Bull was 110. Okay? So, if you want a, a calorie, um, you want to lose weight and you want a calorie uh, so-called diet, um... Drinking Red Bulls and Gatorades and and I got another one over here, the body armor. It's not going to harm you, okay? Now, it's hard to see, but the total shit grams in um, Gatorade is very high. It's, it's 34 grams, okay? So you can't be drinking a whole bunch of these in a day, okay? Um, you drink it when you need it, when you feel like your body needs it. Okay, I try to tell my grandson that he'll drink Gatorades all day long. And you you would know when your body needs to be hydrated. You'll be extra thirsty. Uh, your lips may be dry. Your tongue is dry. You know, um, so you got to pay attention to this type of stuff. Because you don't want to overdo it with your body. Because then you're going to get too much of it. And then you're going to start feeling sick. It's only 140 grams. Okay. And the the... Added sugars is sixty nine percent with the total sugars. Okay, so it's all together. And y'all see that it doesn't have any protein. It does have potassium because we need potassium because when we hydrate, I mean, uh, when we get dehydrated, we lose potassium. Okay, in our bodies, and that's when your bones will start aching. This is why I tell you, you will know when you're getting dehydrated. You'll get really tired. Your body start aching. You, you feel like you got the flu. You know, but then as soon as you drink you uh, something with um, all these vitamins in it, then you'll, you'll feel better instantly. Okay? It's not like it, it doesn't happen. It happens in a few days or whatever. Because it's instant because your body is getting what you need. Now we're going to look at the body armor. Okay? Now the body armor has very, very low sodium. Okay? But 28 grams of sugar. But the, the reason being is because everything in here is natural. It's natural um, hydration, coconut. Coconut water is natural hydration. If you drink coconut water, you are doing well, okay, because you're going to stay hydrated if you drink it on a daily basis, okay. Um, you see the total sugars, they don't have many much sugar. Calories are low. You know, and these are the things that you have to look for. When you're trying to do a lifestyle change, okay? And that's how we stay healthy, you know, um, viewing what you're putting in your body. When you go to the restaurant, you don't know what they put in the food. You know, one day, I'll, I'll never forget this day, we was in Atlantic City, 
and he's at the restaurant. My family thought I was embarrassing him, but, I, you know, I, I, I got to know what I'm putting in my body. Because, one, I'm allergic to a lot of things. So, you know, they make these foods all fancy, and they put all these uh, different um, sauces and stuff on it. I need to know. So, we're sitting there. I ordered my food, and <laughs> um, I told the, the waitress that I wanted just the grilled chicken, plain grilled chicken. She said, well, we don't have plain grilled chicken. We have this type of chicken. I said, well, listen, ma'am, I, you don't have to put all of that stuff. I just want a piece of grilled chicken. That's all I'm asking for. Okay. Well, the chef felt um, offended because I was messing up his, his, his dish. Okay. So the chef came out <laughs> to my table. Okay. And the whole restaurant is looking like. Why is the chef coming out here? And he came and he said, um, who is the one that wants the grilled chicken? I said, me. And he looked at me. He said, um, my meal does not come like that. And you're going to mess up my um, impression of my meal. I believe that's how he said it. Okay. And because, you know, the meal has to look a certain way. You know, they they. What is the word they um, they use? Um, presentation. Presentation is uh, big in America. If you have good presentation, you'll accept. You accept it. Okay. Um, however, he felt some kind of way about his presentation being messed up because I only wanted just grilled chicken. So I had to go through all these things with him, you know, um, and I was like really pissed off about it. Um. I understood where he was going with it because, you know, he was hired based on his presentation, based on how his food tastes, and he doesn't want to give me a meal, and then I turn around and say, hey, this meal didn't taste good because I just wanted a, a dry piece of <laughs> grilled chicken. Um, so I had to explain to this man. I said, sir, I'm allergic to a lot of things, okay, and I don't know what you're doing back there. I don't know what kind of sauces you're putting on my food. Okay, so with that being said, to avoid me getting sick in your restaurant and saying you made me sick, I'm just requesting a piece of chicken. Once I told him, he was okay with it, but then he was like, okay, he went with, went with the breakdown. Okay, what are you allergic to? So I had to break down some things that I'm allergic to. Now, my body is crazy because I can be non-allergic to something one day and then the next day or a month later, I'm allergic to it. I start breaking out in hives. And I'm going to tell you what I experienced with that. Uh, one of my friends, we were high on eating protein. We didn't want to eat meat. You know, uh, shout out to her. Uh, she's a Muslim, so she was trying to, you know, not eat certain foods to get, you know, to stay healthy. So she would make, um, it's called 15 beans, or I can't remember, but it has all these different beans. And I eat beans regularly, okay? And she was like, I want you to taste these beans. I said, okay. Broke out in highs instantly. Okay, one of them beans, and I, I don't know to this day which one it is, but I'm allergic to one of them beans. And don't know which one it is. Okay? And I'm assuming it was the beans because all of the seasons that she used, I use like the herbs you know so I already knew that it was one of the beans so the, the point that I'm trying to make is you don't know what your body is used to or what your body is not used to until you try it so you, when you do your lifestyle change you have to try a little bit of everything you know um, my people in my family they're funny with it if it's a, a certain brand they won't eat it you know um, I eat Hellman's mayonnaise, okay, but I only eat Hellman's mayonnaise that's made with olive oil, okay? Um, my family is funny about it. Why do you buy this? We want the regular old Hellman's. And I'm like, well, I don't eat that oils. I eat olive oil, so y'all gonna eat this. This is what it, what it is. And I don't eat much mayonnaise, period, because I don't eat a lot of sandwiches. And on some sandwiches, I don't even put, depending on what type of cheese I have on it, I don't even put mayonnaise on it. So, these are the things that you have to look for. Um, vegetables is the number one factor. You know, vegetables actually bloat me really, really bad. But I be needing them, you know, and it hurts my stomach real bad. Um, 
certain vegetables I can eat raw, like broccoli. If broccoli is raw, I can digest it. If broccoli is cooked, I'm sick as a dog for two days. Okay? Kale. Eating kale raw is okay, depending on how much I eat. Um, eating it cooked, I'm good. Okay? Um, cauliflower, I'm good with asparagus, I'm good with uh, Brussels sprouts, I can eat those. Cabbage. I cannot digest cabbage. It hurts my belly for days. Okay. I even tried it raw. And it hurts me so bad. <coughs> um, I had a person tell me, oh, just eat you some coleslaw every day and you'll be okay. Tears my belly up. Okay. Terribly. Um, I had some fermenting. You know, fermenting actually cleans the, the lining of the, the belly. Okay. It's just... Uh, vegetables, most of the time it's cabbage, um, some other things, then we put carrots in there, and you know, it's basically vinegar, and, and they sit it and let it sit for, for days until, <coughs> excuse me, it ferments, <coughs> excuse me, um, I can eat a small tablespoon, okay, I mean a teaspoon of fermenting, and in an hour, I'm running to the bathroom. Okay. That's what it does to my belly. Okay. So this is why we can't listen to the nutritionists and listen to the TV and put all of this stuff in our body because we don't know how it's going to affect us. That's number one. So you got to find out what's right for you. And then once you find out what's right for you, that's when you do your lifestyle change. Okay. Because now everything you eat has a benefit in your body. Okay? It's not just you you're dieting for the six months and um you're dieting for the six months and then next thing you know you're going back to the same stuff that you ate before. Make this change a change that's forever. When you go somewhere and you say, hey you want something? No, I don't eat that. You have to be willing and dedicated to saying I don't put that in my body. Even if people say, oh, so-and-so act like she all that. Or he act like he all that. He don't want to eat this. It is what it is. That's their drama. Let them stay with their drama. Okay? Because that's their... Like, it's like a man had said the other day to me. Um, I was running. You know, because I, I used to run track when I was young. And, um, you know, we have a certain way to sprint. You know? And that's been in me since a child. You know? Now that I'm... 50, it doesn't go away, you know, because here I am running and my form came in, <laughs> in into play and it's like, okay, I can't stop that. This is something that I was used to because it helps me run faster, it helps me sprint faster. So this is what I have to do um, to get through what I'm doing. So I, I jet it off uh, to try to catch the store before a lot of people get in there because I was in a rush. So I started running and... I, I had my arms up, you know, as if I was running the track, you know. So the guy says to me, stop showing off. Showing off for what? I'm running to the store. You know, this is who I am. Accept who I am. You know, but people have this thing where they want to um, judge you because they haven't been a part of something, okay? They may feel or they know about something and they, they can't understand how is in you? Because you're a regular person. We're all regular people. And just like the basketball players and the athletes, they're regular people. Okay? Even though we look at them as stars and celebrities. Okay, celebrity just means that you are, are praised by a little bit more people than, than the person on the ground. Okay? Because you have fans. That's it. That's the difference. But they bleed just like you bleed. They eat the same foods you eat. They breathe the same air you breathe. There's, there's no difference, okay? So when this man saw me sprinting to the store, when people know, people runners know, if you sprint, you'll get there faster, okay? So <laughs> um, just running the, the regular old run, okay, it takes a long time. And I'm, you know, so used to sprinting, so this is what I do, <laughs> okay? So I can get there in half of the time if I ran, okay? And... 
You know, he felt some kind of way. But that was his problem. It ain't my problem, so I paid him no mind. Don't let people take what you have in you away. Okay? If you have a gift, if you have um, a way of eating, you know, for your health and your lifestyle. You know, they always say we were born by ourselves and we're going to die by ourselves. So, when you, you got to take it serious, people. And in the days that we're coming in, and that we're going in, rather, um, we have to be healthy and fit. Okay? We have to regulate our bodies to eat a certain amount of food. Okay? I had got so small one time. Um, this was back in 2014. I got used to not eating, okay, because my stomach had closed up so small, I could drink some water, okay, and it would fill me up, but we have to eat, okay, our body needs to do nutrition, water has no nutrition, okay, so I was actually killing myself, even though I was drinking water, okay, people say, oh, you need this water, no, that's not true, you need food too, okay, you gotta have some type of substance with vitamins in it for your body to eat off of, okay? My body had nothing to eat off of, nothing, okay? I was just drinking water. And and I was walking out and running all day in, in 105 degree weather, cleaning the streets and everything. So I dehydrated my body. I'm only drinking water, not eating no food. My body had nothing to, to, to eat off of. Well, I, I got sick and I wound up fainting, you know, um, because of it. Went to the hospital, they gave me some sodium, and I was back at it. You know, I was, I was ready, and I said, Jackie, never do this to yourself again. I, had to, I have to eat, you know, and I can feel it. I can feel when my body is saying, it's time to eat. Sometimes you might get a little dizzy. Being that I, get, I have allergy issues, I, I could be getting dizzy from that, or I can be getting dizzy from not eating. You know, and I had this thing where I regulated myself to, you know, you have to get up and eat. Like, I didn't eat this morning because I wasn't hungry. But when I get off this podcast, I have to eat. I have to eat something, even if it's a pack of uh, oatmeal. Oatmeal or farina, um, it, 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 it's hearty for the belly. You know what I mean? And it's good for you. It's loaded with vitamins. So that's what I'll go eat. Um, yogurt. Um, I just have to eat something. You, you understand what I'm saying? So... My body was trained, um, especially with me working out all the time and um, eating only healthy foods. It, it shrank my belly so small that, you know, I can put a little tiny bit of food in there and I'm good. I'm ready to go. But then I burn it off faster because it's not a lot. Okay, so if I, go, if I eat, my belly is this little and I eat this amount of food, okay, and then I go working out. It burns my it burns off so quick, okay. So this is why we got to eat regularly. Um, my doctor always told me three times. I mean, three every three hours, put something in your body so your body has something to fight off of. Okay, that's another thing. We think we we'll lose weight by starving ourselves. No, don't work that way. You have to put the food in your body so you have something to burn off. Okay. Um, it took me a long time to get this this fitness thing and healthy eating thing under wraps. I told you I've been on this thing for like 30 years. Okay, so it took me a long time. It's a lifestyle change, you know. And like I said, this is I have to live like this. There's certain foods I just can't eat. Um, I'm one that cook almost every night. You know, it's hard for me, uh, especially when I work um, to feed my family. But this is what I do. You know, my family very rarely gets sick, um, like especially me and my daughter, um, Ija, little Ija. We very rarely get sick. And one is because um, I have bad allergies. And like I talked about on my podcast, uh, the process of if you don't take your allergy medication, what's going to happen? You're going to be, you're going to eventually catch pneumonia and you can die or um, can't breathe and die. You know, it's, 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 it's if you don't treat it. You're going to be messed up. That's just the bottom line. <coughs> However, um, with regular foods, you know, um, I wish there was regular foods that I can eat to 
uh, stop my allergies, but there's nothing that I can eat to stop my allergies. But when it comes to like keeping our immune system built, so I don't catch colds, I eat a lot of tangerines, uh, pineapple, um, anything with with a pH uh, is very high naturally. Okay, um, so that's how I've been able to stay um, healthy. And a lot of herbs. People don't realize how how uh, well the herbs do in our body, you know, um, herbs is a very, very good power in our body, you know, um, and it's grown off the earth, you know, so it's not something that you can't, if you can't afford to go buy it all the time, you can grow it, you know, you, some of it you can grow in your house and, and have it when you need it, you know, so these are the things that y'all have to think about, um, I'm sorry, my back was itching, so I was, like, not focused. <laughs> I'm out here, I think a mosquito will bit me. I don't know what's going on, y'all. But um, getting back to the, the lifestyle. Now, working out, you know, um, people think because they go to work, they're working out. Anything we do too much of every single day, um, your body gets used to it. Just like when you take a pill, and this is how people get on drugs. You may take a pain pill today. Right, and it worked. And then you take another one tomorrow, and it worked. You go about the third day, it's not working. You you start to feel that pain again. So now you want two. Then it turns from two, it turns into three. Okay, day after day after day after day. Okay, your body gets immune to anything that you have on a regular basis. And this is another thing when you when you're doing your lifestyle change. You don't want to eat the same things every single day. You don't want your body to get immune to that same amount of vitamins coming into your body every single day. And I had to learn that. Okay? You have to balance it. Only you know your body. Can't nobody tell you about your body but you. Okay? So, other than your blood work. Okay? Um, And you're not going to get blood work every single day after you eat or every single week after you eat. It's not going down like that. So the best way to do is listen to your body, okay, and figure it out. Going back to uh, working out. You don't have to work out hard body like they they, they be doing. Uh, You got to feel the burn. You got to work it out. And you Okay, you work, you go to work, you, you, you have activity, you active. Okay, you burn calories. But then you sit down and you eat uh, some type of beef sub. Now you're going to put all them calories back on. Okay? <clears throat> now you're tired. Okay, so now you're feeling lazy and your, your metabolism slowed down. Okay, so you're not burning it off. This is how we gain weight. Okay? Um... Some people sometimes will see me, I may have a a bloated belly. I I may even look pregnant. That's because I ate some vegetables, okay? You know I ate some vegetables and the the, the fiber bloats me up real big, you know. And then once I poop and, you know, get over that excess water out of my body, my belly goes down. Like right now. Okay, let me show you. I didn't eat too much vegetables yesterday, but I don't know if y'all can see, but it's got a little bitty. Now this, I could tighten up, you know, but it's not going to stop my stomach from blowing if I eat the vegetables, okay, because of the fiber. So it might look like you're eating all this stuff and you're saying, I'm losing, I'm not losing weight, I'm still fat. You're looking in the mirror and you're like, I'm still fat, what's going on? It could be the foods that you're eating, but the foods are healthy. So continue to do it. It'll go away. You know, like some days, like I said, some days, y'all see me on, on, on um, TikTok some days. My stomach may be looking like I'm six months pregnant. That means I ate some, some vegetables that my stomach can't tolerate. And it doesn't mess with everybody. You know, it, it's different. Like I said, everybody's body is different. You know, so it's not going to mess with everybody. But some people, yeah, it's going to mess with us. And then that's when your mind is like, I'm not doing something right. You are doing something right. You're keeping your body healthy, and it will go down. You will see it go down. Okay, so don't worry about that. Um, Getting back to the exercise. If you walk in at work every day, yes, that's exercise, but your body gets used to it. 
So you got to add something else with the other day. You know, they say women, we um, are more fit than most men because we do a lot 